Okay, so here we've got triangle here, um, and for some reason the number six has appeared. So let's get rid of the number six. Uh, right. Well, first thing is we can work out this missing angle. So if we know that this is um, 1950 is 140, 147, so we're missing 33 degrees in here. That's fine. Now we asked to find the area of this field. Now there's a formula at the beginning of the exam paper that tells us the area of any triangle is a half AB multiplied by the sine of the angle C, big C that is. Now, that tells us that the angle that we have, we need two sides and one angle, and the angle must be between it. So we need to work out one of these sides. Now, in order to do that, we've got to use the sine rule. So we need to work out either this side or this side. Now, it doesn't matter which one we do. I'm going to work out this side here for no other reason than it uses the information I've got in the question, not the angle I calculated in case I made some silly um, little error. So the sine rule tells us when we try and find the side, it tells us that if we call this little r here, we call this little t, we call this little s, it's little r over sine r is equal to little s over sine s or angle s so we can go through and we can calculate this so let's put it r r is equal over the sine of the one opposite is 55 and then s is 134 divided by the sine of the one opposite 134 is 92 and i just need to rearrange this equation so tells me that little r is equal to 134 multiplying through by sine 55 all divided by sine 92. So I need to work that on my calculator. So let's do this. So what have we got? So just tapping it into a calculator divided by 92. I find out that the value of r, little r, is 109.8332814 meters. Now I'm going to keep that whole answer on my calculator. I find that that angle is 109.8332814 meters. Now I can go back and I can use this. So now I can work out the area of the triangle is really equal to well if we've now got this side and this side we need to use the sign we need to use the angle 33 because we know these two things and we need the angle between them so it's a half of the answer we just got times by 134 times by sine of the angle 33. So we're using this. Now you could have used a sine rule differently to find out this angle and then we could have, this will be slightly different. It should give you the same answer in the end. It depends which size of the triangle you calculate. So we've now got our answer. Keep it on your calculator or use the answer button times 134 times a half and then times that by sine 33 and we should come out with the area is 4,007.90599 meters squared. We need to give our answer to three significant figures. So the area is first three digits only. 4,000, well this seven is going to round up to 10, so it's 4,010 meters squared to three significant figures and there's our final answer quite tricky and quite involved it's towards the end of the paper so it's an a to a star it's an a star question really two way grade topics wrapped up together go back over it if you need to